Welcome to Gamma Help Videos. Today we're going to learn how to download the Xverse wallet. So first, you'll need to navigate to xverse.app. Then, you'll click on the download button. Today, I'm going to be downloading the browser extension. I'll then click to add it to my browser. Next, I'll click on my extensions button and select my Xverse wallet. Here, I'm going to click create wallet. If I have previously created a wallet and I have the seed phrase, I can click on restore wallet. Here, you'll be presented with the option to back up the seed phrase for your wallet. This is the unique key that allows you to recover your wallet from the same device or access it from another device. You must always keep this seed phrase safe, write it down, store it in multiple places, and do not keep it online or on your computer. You can do this later or now. As always, with password safety, and particularly in Web3, do not share your seed phrase with anybody. Always keep it private. This is the unique key to your wallet and for all of your digital assets. When you're ready, you'll click show and then write it down. Once you've written it down correctly, double check it and then you can continue. You'll be required to write it down to prove that it's correct. Otherwise, you'll need to go back. Here, you'll be required to set a password. This is to give you quick access to your wallet. However, this will not give you access to your wallet on another device. For that, you'll always need your seed phrase. Always use a strong password. It's recommended that it's greater than 12 characters, uses a mix of upper and lower case, numbers and special symbols. Here, you'll be required to type it in again to confirm it. As you can see, the wallet has been created successfully. Now I can access it using my extensions button and enter my password. Followed by unlock. As you can see, my Xverse wallet can hold Bitcoin and stacks. To make a payment, I can click send. To make a Bitcoin payment, I'll press here. To make a Stacks payment, I'll press here. By clicking on the Receive button, you can see I can receive Bitcoin to my Bitcoin Cardinal address. This address is mainly used for payments. To receive Ordinals and BRC20 tokens, I'll use my Taproot address. And to receive Stacks NFTs and SIP10 tokens, I'll use my Stacks address. I can also buy Bitcoin or Stacks directly from my wallet. And well done! That's the way to create an Xverse wallet. Thanks for watching. More help is always available at support.gamma.io.